everyone, welcome to this week's Maker Exchange activity. As always, I am Mr. Martin. And I'm Miss April, and today we're going to be making homemade instruments. A kalimba, or thumb piano, is an African percussion instrument. Many tribes across the continent have developed their own distinctive thumb pianos over time and have given them different names. The instrument consists of a number of keys mounted on a resonator. That is a device used to make something louder, like a wooden board or a sound box. The keys of different lengths and shapes are usually made of metal tines, but makers have used bicycle spokes, bed springs, and other recycled metal. So, sound is typically created by plucking at the end of the tines with your thumbs, while holding the instrument in your hands. Now, I don't know how to play, but see if you can guess the songs that I'm trying to play. For this project, you'll need six bobby pins, two wooden dowels or pencils, a small thin wooden rectangular board, but you can also use cardboard, and two rubber bands. To create your own six note pentatonic kalimba, start by sticking six bobby pins through a wooden dowel or pencil. The bobby pins will act as your keys. The lowest note should be in the center, and the higher notes are on the sides, both left and right. It should look something like this. Next, place the keys and wooden dowel over the top of a small wooden board. You don't have to use a wooden board. Get creative and see what else you can use to make a resonator. Then, place the second wooden dowel underneath the board to align with the top dowel. Use one rubber band on each end to tie the dowels together. The keys should now be tightly secured to the board. You can tune the keys by moving the bobby pins up and down the dowel. To make the note lower, move it down. To make the note higher, move it up. Tuning it to the standard C tuning may not be easy, but even without tuning, you can play and discover what sounds you can make. To make your own guitar, you will need a pair of scissors, tape, a craft roll, two wooden dowels, four rubber bands, the cardboard box template, and matchsticks or toothpicks are optional. To build a guitar, start with a cardboard template. Make a box by folding it as shown. On the side of the box opposite of the lid, cut out a hole. Cardboard may be a little difficult to cut, so just try your best. And remember to always be safe with the scissors. Next up, wrap each band around the entire box. Try and get them flat and not twisted. Slide the wooden dowels under the rubber bands near the edges of the box. Angle one dowel as this helps each band make a different sound. On the side of the box with the angled dowel, tape the craft roll. This just helps us hold our guitar, so try not to tape over any rubber bands. Move them aside if necessary.
And there you have it, a cardboard box guitar. Good job. To tune your guitar, simply tighten or loosen each band over the hole. The tighter the band, the higher the pitch. Try and get it so the deeper pitch is up top and the higher pitch is on the bottom, just like a real guitar. And now that you've built your instrument, it's time to play. See if you can follow along with these tunes. Thank you. 